How do you find love when you are stuck at home watching us this morning, maybe thinking you could do with a change, right? <laughs> well, after a surgeon downloads during lockdown, it seems a lot of people are trying their luck on these dating apps, but uh, you might feel nervous about this. And uh, we're going to go to the author, Gemma Forte, um, who has tried it. And uh, you're there in your mid-40s now, Gemma. Uh, what I do you am. think of what you tried? Because I know you've got advice for a lot of people out there through your own experience. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I think it's interesting for people at my kind of age and stage is that back in the day, obviously, this is not how you met people. And I think there used to be a stigma. But now, I promise you, I'd say the majority of people are meeting people online. And that stigma should go out the window because it can be an incredible way to meet people that you would never normally meet because they're not from your work environment or from your, 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 your friendship circle. So that's a positive. But that said, it is a bit of a jungle out there and it is a bit of a new world to navigate, shall yeah, we say. How, how nervous were you? Because you said, you know, uh, you divorced, but I'm presuming you met your husband in the old fashioned way, as we say, yeah. you know, it's either through friends or at work. And then this whole new world. So how did you feel on your first date? Well, I'm going to be honest, going onto the apps, I felt quite excited. I was like a kid in a sweetie shop. I was like, how does this work? There's just loads of men to look at. This is interesting. And then it was like, OK, so what do I want from this? I don't know. It's all quite new. So I sort of lined up a few dates. And then it's interesting because in my working life, I am a really confident person. But I can't lie. Still, and I don't go on that many dates. When I do, I feel really nervous. I sort of hate it because the messaging part I'm great with, I'm great with communicating and writing, but that horrible moment of walking towards wherever it is you're meeting and thinking, oh, what have I got myself into now? Yes, but Gemma, and is that, that moment... because is that because often the person you're meeting isn't all that they seem? So, for instance, in days of old, if you were to meet someone at work in a bar or whatever, you would sense if you were physically attracted to them, you would mm. know if they had a sense of humour or whatever. But let's be honest about it. A lot of people exaggerate, maybe even lie on these profiles. This is completely true. Until you meet someone in real life, at which point your brain is making thousands of mini assessments, you don't know what somebody is like. So you're going, first of all, on a profile. And you're right, people come to these apps with different motivations. There are loads of people who come to them for the right reasons. They want to meet someone. They want a relationship. But there'll be people on there who are heartbroken. They've just split up with someone. They're in not, no state to be meeting someone else, but they're just a bit trying to find someone or some kind of thing to make them feel better. There might be people who want only one thing. There might be people who are married. You just never know. So you need to filter. And I think also it's important to approach the whole thing, not thinking that they're going to solve your life, that you're definitely going to meet the one, whatever that means. See it as something to dive into be careful on it, have fun with it. But the minute it starts to feel like a soul-destroying second job, have a break. OK, we were, I was looking, I'm interested in your tips, Gemma. So you're <laughs> saying that you just said it should be fun. You know, think of this, it's going to be a positive um, experience for you. Um, profile pictures, a lot of people worry about, well, what picture do I put up? You know, a lot of you can yeah. filter pictures now. Do I choose one where I look amazing? Do I choose one where it's, you know, I'm oh, looking more real? Do you know what really gets, real? Off, gets, gets me? Women who post pictures, as well as men do as well, on Instagram or whatever, and they widen their eyes and they narrow their chin, and basically they put these filters, filters yeah, with so... flowers in their head and all sorts yeah. of... What's that nonsense about? This uh... is a very top tip for ladies. Don't put the Snapchat filters on, the ears and the silly app, because I've heard from so many men. I wrote a piece about this and I got loads of feedback. And they don't want to see what you look like with a rabbit ears because that's not going to be who walks towards them in the pub when you go for a drink. I think the best thing to do is post a couple of pictures of you at your shiny best and a couple of pictures that are quite realistic. Trust me, what you don't want on a first date is someone walking towards you looking disappointed. I mean, how is that going to make you feel? Make you feel awful. So no false advertising. You know, I have a friend, a male friend, and he went for a date and then he got a bit worried because she phoned him and said, how will we recognise each other? And he thought, he said, well, from our pictures. And this lady walked in and she had only posted headshots, very pretty face, and actually she was a much, much, much larger than average lady. And there'd been no sign of that on her profile. And she walked towards him and almost burst into tears from the off. 
So he did the right thing. He went and got a bottle of Prosecco and sat down and went, oh, right, come on you, let's have a chat. And he said, there is going to be someone out there who really loves you for who you are and what you look like. But if you pretend you're something else, you're just asking for a load of heartache. You see, so what I, I, what I like from true. your advice, you have a book on this. What's your book called? It's called Be Careful What You Swipe For. And it's actually a novel, but it was originally inspired okay. by some of the hilarious dates that I've had. But you're quite, you're quite... <laughs> No nonsense, you're quite direct. You would be mm. happy enough to say, look, I'm sorry, you're a nice person, but we're not a match. You would, you, you would say that quite yeah, early do, on. How would do you, you let somebody down? Because you might meet them, they might be perfectly nice, but you mm. haven't had that connection. And then we talked earlier about ghosting. You know, there's got to be an etiquette, surely, a nice way of saying to somebody, you're just not for me. Yes, and this is where, again, if you're not in a very good headspace yourself, online dating can be a rather depressing experience because you are going to match with people and then they message and then they go off. This happens to everybody. Or you are going to maybe meet someone and then just not hear from them again. I personally think these things are, are, are bad manners. It takes two seconds after a date to say, how do you think that went? Which I actually do ask. I like a bit of feedback. But I'm about, I know I am quite confident and quite straightforward, but my policy of being quite straightforward with people seems to be working. And you get that kind of mutual respect i just think treat people as you would expect to be treated yourself and before you go on a date you are within your rights to ask a few questions we're all busy you don't want it to become like you're meeting someone you don't really know who they are plus if you know from the off for example that you don't want to have children don't then arrange a date with someone who definitely does this is the joy of online dating is you can make these filters and and hopefully waste less time and also, I suppose we're saying, you know, to be polite, to, to say, look, you're just not for me. We didn't have that connection. I didn't feel we did. Yeah. Um, I think some people I know have maybe kind of ploughed on thinking, I don't want to hurt their feelings and ended up on a third date thinking, why am yeah. I here? What's your advice oh, on yeah. that? No, I, I matched with someone um, a while back and he was really, really lovely. And, you know, all the boxes, tickety tick, tick, tick. <laughs> You know, live nearby, divorce, my age, had a job, all his own teeth, you know, the <laughs> basics. And uh, but then when we got to the date, he was um, discussing the merits of AstroTurf versus lawn. And at that Is point, that my I thought, husband, you didn't have a date with Eamon, did you? Was that you? Fixing You've been with secretly Eamon. dating. I'm a fan of AstroTurf. <laughs> Eamon would love to have a conversation with you mm. about AstroTurf. Mm. This is the thing. Loads of people would. He was a really nice guy. And actually, he was like, you know, oh, maybe we'll go for dinner. And I went off and I sent him a message that afternoon. I said, can I just say you are so lovely? and you're going to make someone else really happy. And my mum will kill me for this, but I don't think we're a match. And so he came back and he was like, oh, thanks so much. It's just nice to have some honesty and, and a text saying that. Yeah. Um, also, you're, you're very, you're good because you believe that after you have a date, you would literally text and say, when you got home, well, how do you think that went? Yeah, I do do that. If I and that's know. a rarity, yeah. is it? I think maybe I am quite weird. Other people say I'm confident, but like... I don't know. I think it comes with age. I don't think I would have done that maybe in my 20s or even my 30s. But I'm 46 now and I love the fact that I'm older. I care less in a good way. I care less about the silly things and more about the important things. So if someone's come to meet me and I want to know what they think, I'll ask. I think that's fair. And, and if you want to let them down gently, you say, I just don't think we're a match. Yeah, and I think that's... Yeah. A, I, I believe in being kind and polite to people, but also honest. Yeah. And if you're not honest with people, it's going to be uh, just... You're going to be mired in so much stress. And I was speaking to somebody earlier, um, a friend, who went out on a date on Friday, and she thought it had gone quite well. Cut to... She just had sent him a WhatsApp to say she'd got home safely, and that's a horrible thing of looking for the blue ticks, and they just didn't hear from him. And I just thought that was incredibly rude of yeah. him because it would make her weekend better if she just heard lovely to meet you don't think we're a match have a nice weekend and could then I just ask you it. You've, you've raised something there because men are notorious on these sites for for thinking something better may be coming along and and often younger is the is the age thing or men looking for someone much younger is that a a, a real fear, a reality? Well, it is interesting. In my experience, so I was on one app, it's quite a good app actually, but um, I had put my real age, of course, and my, I said, it's really weird. All I'm getting is 25-year-olds sort of going, hey, like very overconfident 25-year-olds. And I would always <laughs> reply, you are old enough to be my, you could be my son. <laughs> um, and they go, oh, I don't care if you don't care. And I think, no, well, I do care, go away. Um, so anyway... 
I was not getting many matches at all of men around my own age. So I think, oh, he looks quite nice. Not, not much at all. And then my friend said, it's because you're 46 and 46 year old men are wanting 30 to 40 year old women. I was like, don't be or ridiculous. Change, yeah, you want 18 year olds. So I changed my age, ping, 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 ping. So I thought that was a bit disappointing. But um, yeah, I mean, I just think, well, I don't really want to meet a man who's that silly anyway. Sure, so yeah. I don't mind. I'm not well, desperate no, to meet Gemma, somebody. But generally, generally, you're saying it can be a really positive experience um, and you know, don't give up. And the, all those tips, I think, were really interesting. Just before you go, can I ask you, yeah. so do you swipe left if you like somebody? <laughs> Is swipe left yeah. good? It's left for a no. Oh. It's right for Mr. or Mrs. Right. So I'd swipe right <laughs> for you. Unless you were talking about AstroTurf and then I'd swipe you left. Well, the only mystery I have is how, Gemma Forty, you are still single. That's really, yeah. af after fussy. all that. I'm fussy, Eamon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There'll be a few offers today, I would have thought. But um, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely brilliant. And, and very, very informative and very entertaining. Thank you, Thank Gemma, Gemma Forte. And dating for the... Be careful what you swipe for. OK. It's a novel based on her dating experiences. Lovely, lovely.